So we hear all the time that owning a restaurant is a tough business. A lot of people struggle just to get through the pandemic, of course. And these days, you don't hear often about restaurant owners going out of their way to give food away without turning a profit. Ari Taihad, though, has a story tonight of a man who took a big risk to help his neighbors. Most diners in America make money by serving up hearty meals. But Colin Duran, the owner of the homemade cafe in Southwest Berkeley, hey, have a seat, relax, it's all good. may be the only restaurateur who's made a business out of giving away food for free. Here we go. It all started a few years ago when Colin decided to do something rather unusual in the restaurant business, offering anyone who's famished a free breakfast. Hey, if you guys are hungry and need a food, we will feed you. When the pandemic hit, the need grew so much, Colin decided to make it official, calling it the Everybody Eats program. All you have to do is grab one of the coupons on his bulletin board and sit down. The only payment required is a thank you. The typical Everybody Eats meal is our basic two egg breakfast. So it's two eggs cooked however the customer likes it. They get a side of our delicious home fries and toast. A neighborhood resident, Samantha Aikens, has been relying on food assistance programs to get by. Being able to eat free of charge at the cafe, she says, has been a godsend. I have to budget, you know, fixed income wise. I have to find the people um, that, you know, can help out with little things financially. Paying customers can help by adding $5 to their bill, something many of his regulars, like Suzanne Scrivenich, are more than happy to do. That just touches me right here. That just touches me in my heart. Colin's program has become so popular, he's now giving away about 200 free meals a month. Definitely was a bit in the back of my mind. If it got well known, would it be difficult to deal with a high volume of meals? But I figured if I'm going to get myself into trouble, I'm going to do it good trouble. Would you like a flour or corn tortillas? Not only did he not get into trouble, you also have some specials today. His business grew by 15%, a huge margin for any restaurant. His customers have reacted positively. And even if they don't always contribute the $5 to help pay for the meals, they like the fact that we do it and they choose to come here more often. Now he hopes others will follow his lead. Being able to try and bring, I'm sorry if I'm tearing up, um, what I think is important and be able to, you know, not only do things I love and, and make nice and delicious food, but do it in a way that is socially responsible and, and trying to make the world a little better place. Sorry about that. Making the world a better place. Oh, our pleasure by adding compassion and caring to his menu.